the play action. Wants to go deep, pumps and throws down the middle. It's intercepted again. West Lysak has it for the Stampeders. Back-to-back -back interceptions, but there's a flag in the Blue Bomber backfield. Well, there's a late hit on Kahari Jones, but once again, evidence is right there in front of your eyes that Kahari Jones' shoulder is bothering him. First down count. They're going to say it's no flag, but you know, if you're going to throw the flag because you think the quarterback's getting a hit, you got to stay with the call. Now, the quarterback's going to sit back there. He delivers the football, kind of falls over the pile, but uh, there's a perfect indication that there are some problems with Kahari Jones throwing the shoulder. Not enough zip on that football, just too short, and an easy interception for Wes Lysak. Great call, Chris. You can see it right there. He was intending to throw the ball to Kamal Peterson, but that ball was five to ten yards underthrown as Lysak makes the interception, his first of the season. Stamps back on offense. On the ground, Scott Dybert up the gut, and he'll have a few yards there. Scott Dybert takes the ball on the ground. From well, that's the thing that's really plagued the Blue Bombers already right now. The first two offensive possessions, and he's thrown two interceptions, one to John Grace, and that one a really easy interception, an underthrown ball to Wes Lysak. Chris, he was benched last week. He, he didn't play. They they said, you need to make more interceptions. You need to become more involved in the defense. Well, he answered the call here tonight. Well, I, I, I'm not going to. That was an easy one. I mean, anybody could have sat back there when the ball's under thrown and made the play. They just think he's got it. It was a wake-up call in the bench from last week, most definitely. Second and six, pressure. And the ball is incomplete, intended for Denny Montana. And so for the first time in six drives, the Stampeders don't score points, and they'll have to punt. And once again, the man that's getting the pressure is Tom Canada. Now the rookie out of California, Berkeley, at the bottom just swims inside, gets penetration, gets a hit on Tommy Jones, but he's the only one we've called tonight that's actually had some penetration and put some pressure on Tommy Jones. Now, I know they double-teamed Doug Brown in the middle. He's a horse in the middle, but you need to get some pressure from Bradley and Alfred Payton. Bombers will peel back to set up the return. Stokes tracking this ball on the fly at his own 25. Cutting back with some blocks, and he's hammered at the 35-yard line. It's Wes Robertson, the rookie out of Rutgers, with a big tackle and just a 10-yard return after a 47-yard punt by the rookie, Hebert. A late flag mark thrown after he's brought down. Stampeders full of momentum here tonight. Turning back the Bombers who had something going at the half. The face mask is again.